eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good morning, abiding love. Are you ready for Pentecost Sunday? Amen. Amen. I want the, the children and the youth to stay in here this morning. There's a reason. But we're going to first go to the Lord in prayer as we always do. Amen. Heavenly Father. <coughs> Lord, we thank you for not leaving us yes. comfortless. Yes. God, we thank you in this house today yes. that you're stirring, yes. you're awakening, yes. Yes. you're shaking, yes. you're shifting. Yes. You're doing all that you can for our good. Yes. And Lord, we thank you right now yes. with our innermost being. Yes. We thank you right now with humility. We yes. come boldly before you. Yes. God, I praise you anyhow. Yes. God, I praise you anyhow. Yes. Do you hear what I'm saying yes. this morning? I praise yes. you anyhow. Yes. We've been made Hallelujah. endure for a night, yes. but God's joy yes. comes in the morning. Yes. Lord, we worship you. We, we pour yes. out we all of our you. heart, our soul, we our mind before God. you this praise day, oh God. Yes. Lord, Thank you, Lord. We know we come with expectation yes. this morning. Lord, just as the, the men and women in the upper room, yes. Lord, they waited for you. Lord, they sought you out. Yes. Lord, they believed the word that you taught them. Right. And Lord, when they believed, when they held on, God, yes. you made your promise come Thank to pass. Lord. And Lord, I Hallelujah. give you praise yes. now. I give you honor Thank now for your Jesus. promise that's coming Thank to pass. You, I thank you right now, Praise Lord. Lord. And Lord, we crush every assignment yes. of the enemy. Lord, we break down. Yes. We dismantle yes. every assignment of Satan yes. that would hinder yes. the, the yes. planning of the scene. Yes. We crush every assignment yes. that he has and that he has formed against yes. us. Because yes. your Lord promises us that it yes. will not prosper. That's right. But Lord, yes. you have a promise for us. Yes. Now Lord, I ask that yes. you protect Thank the seed of the word. Yes. Lord, use Jesus. me, Amen. not me, myself. Yes. But God, work in me, Amen. work yes. through me. Thank Let my Lord. words the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be yes, holy Lord. and acceptable and pleasing yes, unto yes. you this day. Amen. And Lord, I ask that you plant protecting angels around yes. this seed. Yes. Yes. Water it, God, and yes, let it bring God. forth Thank such you. great yes, fruit. Yes, In the name of Jesus. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. There's no yes. other name like the name That's of Jesus. Right. Amen. Amen. Today we celebrate Pentecost Sunday. And Pentecost means 50. It means 50 days from the day of the resurrection. Amen. 50 days since Jesus arose out of that tomb. Yeah. He rolled the stone away. And it said that 40 days after he arose that he abode with the disciples showing many infallible, many undeniable proofs and miracles before he ascended to heaven. 120 people gathered in the upper room for 10 days. For 10 days, because before Jesus ascended to heaven, he said, if you'll just wait for the promise of the Father. Yeah. If you'll just wait, as I've told you, just wait for the promise of the Father. They were waiting in the upper room. Many of us are waiting in this sanctuary today for the promise of the Father. What was the promise of the Father? I'm glad you asked. John 7 and 38. John 7 and 38 is a song I've been listening to all week long. He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers 
of living water. Yeah. Out of his belly, out of his innermost being, yeah. out of the very bowels of your spirit, the unlimited power in Christ will flow a constant flow of living water. That's what he said in John 7 and 38. But he also said in John 14, 12 through 14, in verse 12 it says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. Verse 13, And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, yeah. that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Verse 14, If ye shall ask anything, somebody say anything. Yeah. If ye shall ask anything yes. in my name, yes. I will do it. Yes. Amen. That's what Jesus was saying. These Amen. are the promises of the Father. These are the promises of the Father. Jesus was telling the, the disciples, just hold on to these promises. Yeah. Just hold on to these promises. By what means could we do these things? Turn to Acts chapter 1, <coughs> verse 5. It says, and this, these letters are in red. So you know this is Jesus <coughs> speaking. For John truly baptized with water. But ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost, not many days, days hence. Skip down to verse 8. But ye shall receive power. Yeah. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. See, I know that it's quiet this morning, but in my inner being yeah. is a shakening. Amen. It's a stirring. Because see, it says after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, you will receive power. Power. Yes. Power against what? Power against every satanic yes. device of yes. Satan. Amen. Power against the assignments yeah. of the enemy. Yes. Yes. Power to endure. Amen. Power to go on when you think yes. you can't yes. go yes. on. Yes. Power to do what men think you cannot do. Power to endure to the end. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 But ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. Amen. He's saying, not many days from now, before he ascended, not many days from now, you're going to be baptized with the Holy Ghost and with fire. There's going to be a Holy Spirit come upon you. And you're going to quake. And you're going to shake. And you're going to, you're going to feel funny. You're going to act funny. You're not going to look the same. You're not going to sound the same. But after that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. You will receive power. Amen. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. The 120 were gathered together waiting on the promise of God. And it said that they were in prayer and supplication in, in verse 14 of, of chapter 1. It said that they were all together in one mind and in one accord. They were waiting. They prayed. And in supplication, yeah. they waited. They waited. They waited. Yes. yes. We, this morning, at Abiding Love Community Church, we are waiting on the promise of God That's right. in one mind and one accord. Yes. We push out every assignment That's of right. Satan. Yes. We right. push down and we break yes. through yes. every barricade. Yes. We yes. say, yes. come down, yes. Satan. Yes. Come down, yes. Yes. We are moving yes. forward That's in right. God. Yes. No yes. devil in hell is going to stop right. me this That's morning right. because yes. I have a message yes. to tell you this yes. morning. The power yes. of God is about to hit this yes. place. Day one came and nothing happened. Day two came and nothing happened. Day three and four and five came. By now, many of us would give up and say, oh, I misunderstood it. I, maybe he was wrong. Maybe we were supposed to be here when we should have been there. Because our minds 
our fleshly minds began to wander. They began to, to try to figure God out. And you can't figure God out. Not even if you tried. Because as sure as you think you know God, he ups and turns the apple cart and says, Nope, you don't know me at all. Right. But follow me a little deeper. Yes. Come on out to the deep end and yes. let me show you the ways yes. of me. Yes. You know, David said, I was glad when I was afflicted because it was then that I learned the ways of God. Right. They were gathered together in one mind and one accord. What does that mean? They had the same vision. They had the same vision. If you don't have the same vision as us, if you don't have the same stamina to endure to the end, I'm here to tell you, get on the train or this train's leaving you. That's right. Because there is a place in God that we have to reach. There is an assignment in God that we have to make it to. We have a destination, each and every one of us. Yeah. We have a destination. How are we going to get there? Not by our own means, yeah. but not by our, it's not by might nor by power, but it's by my spirit, spirit. says the Lord of yeah. God. Yeah. We don't know how we're going to get there, but we just know each step is a step of faith. Yeah. Day yeah. one came, day two came, day three came, and it said they were all praying in supplication. Lord, we love your name. Yes. Lord, we exalt Thank you. You, you are yes. high and lifted up. Amen. Lord, yes, we are Lord. waiting for your promise. Yes. We are waiting because you said it. That's right. Because you said it, I yes. believe it. Right. Because you said it, you are yes. not a man that you should lie. You are the son of man that you should repent. But that which you have spoken, you will bring it to pass. Yes. Many of us Amen. are waiting day after day for the promise of the Father. Yeah. Yes. Come on. Many of us have been waiting years for the promise of the Father. That's okay. Because a thousand years to us is as one day to God. And one day to us is a thousand years to God. His time is not our time. That's right. But while we wait, we're just waiting. We know with a surety that what he said, he will bring it to pass. So in the meantime, while we're waiting, we're going to pray in one mind, in one accord, in prayer and supplication, knowing today could be the day that the promise of the God of the Father is delivered. Today could be the day that we get our promise delivered. Today could be the day. He said that they were praying. They were in supplication with one another. They were in one mind and one accord. He did not say, well, I'm tired of praying. Let's go down to the IHOP. Let's grab us some dinner. Let's break bread. Nope. This was a people of faith. It was a people determined. I do not want to miss the move of God. Yeah. I do not want to miss being there when the Spirit of the Holy God breaks out and I miss it. I don't want to miss one thing. I don't want to miss the move of God. I don't care who walks away from me. I will believe God. Amen. Amen. These people were determined to lay hold of the promise of God. They were determined. Did you hear me? They were determined. When you are determined, nothing will stop them. When you are determined to lay hold on the promise of God, nothing will derail you. Nothing will catch you off guard. The enemy will try to attack you. But you say, that's okay, devil. And I'm saying this morning, that's okay, devil. That's right. You just catapulted me. Yes. I'm going to keep going. Yes. I'm going to just... I feel like I'm on a springboard, on That's a right. trampoline. Amen. I'm going to spring. Instead of springing back, I'm going to spring forward yeah. towards my yeah. promise. Yeah. Because yeah. I know yeah. that when you destroy yes. everything around me, yes. I'm that much yeah. closer to my promise. That's right. So Amen. do what you will. That's do right. what you will. That's right. I will not stop praising the That's name right. of the Lord Amen. Most High. The 120 were gathered together. They wasn't watching online. They wasn't in each house. They wasn't some here, some there, some there, some over there. No, they were gathered 
together. Amen. Do you know the importance of gathering together? When you lock arms with a fellow believer and they have as much faith, if not more than you do, the Bible says that one can put a thousand to flight, two can put ten thousand to flight. Yes. When you aren't link up arm in arm with fellow Christians yes. and fellow believers, <coughs> Satan gets nervous. Yes. Come on. Hmm. What are them crazy people doing up there? I done scattered them abroad. I wrecked their lives. <coughs> I caused sickness to come upon them. I caused all these different things that they didn't even realize before it had already been upon them. And here these crazy people are sitting in this house, in this upper room, thinking that the Holy Spirit, what is this Holy Spirit? I, I, did I not already send Jesus to the cross? Yeah, he, he got up and he emptied that tomb, but where is he now? You know, that's what Satan was probably thinking at that time. Well, he arose, but he's not here anymore. That's right. he's, he's not here. <clears throat> I don't have to worry about him. I already got Judas. Now I'm going to go after each one of these apostles. I'm going to go after each one of these disciples. Do you know that Satan is having conversations right now about you? He's going to the Father, and he's saying, I've already taken so-and-so out and so-and-so out. I'm going to target <coughs> this person today. Will you let me target them today? Because, see, he can't do nothing unless he gets the permission of That's God. Right, man. Yeah. When he goes to God, and he's, he may have come up this morning and said, God, I come before you. I gotta do what I can. I'm gonna pull out every assignment, every trap, every weapon against a body love community church. I'm gonna pull out all of my artillery against Becky. I'm gonna pull out all of my artillery against Shane. I'm gonna pull out all of my art artillery against Harry and Pam and Joy and Ralph and Jonathan and Stephanie and all of you. He's going to God with this this morning and he's saying, I've got to stop them. Will you allow me to attack them? God said, give it your best shot. I know their heart. I know their mind. Amen. You can hit them where it hurts. Yes. You can sucker punch them all you want. You can even get the, the rug, get it out from underneath them, and they and they cause them to fall. But I know my child, and my child will get back up. Yes. She will not stay down. That's she right. will get back up, Amen. and she will keep running for me. Yes. Do what you will to her, Satan. Right. But when all is said and done, it's going to yes. catapult her, and it's going to force her yes. towards my destiny for her. Amen. Amen. See, the, the, one, the 120 were waiting on the promises of God. We're on day five, day six, day seven, day eight. They did not stop praying. The problem is, if we don't have an answer within five minutes, we stop. Come on. Doesn't Jesus say pray without ceasing? Yes, he does. Pray until you get an answer. Pray like you expect my hand to move. Pray until you see my hand. Pray until you have all the faith in the world that nothing will shake you. Nothing will rattle you. You believe within your heart, I'm going to move. That's right. Amen. They were waiting in one mind and one accord. They were sitting, praying, God, we need you. Lord, we know what you told us. It's today the day that you show up. It's today the day that the promise of the Father gets delivered into my hands. It's today the day that I receive my promise from you. Many of us are waiting for the promises of God. 
We're waiting for healing. We're waiting for relationships. We're waiting for financial miracles. We're waiting for the peace of God. We're waiting for joy to come up inside of us. We're waiting. Some of us are waiting. I want to experience and partake in the Holy Spirit. Yes. Come on. Hallelujah. They were waiting. But while they were waiting, they were praying. In one mind, in one accord. Yes, sir. And I can't help but believe that the Father was looking down on the upper room. I see a church that don't know they're a church yet, but they are formed together. Yes. They are praying. They are interceding. Yes. They are waiting. They are hungry. They are believing. They are exercising their faith. I can't help but touch them. I can't help but move for them. I can't help but send my spirit down. Yeah. Amen. Then day 10 came. <laughs> In Acts 2, <laughs> chapter 1, I'm sorry, chapter 2, verse 1. It said, and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, yeah. they were all with one accord in one place. They weren't doing nothing any different. They were doing the exact same thing they had done for 10 days straight. They were in one accord in one place. Verse 2, and suddenly, somebody say suddenly. 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 Suddenly there came a sound from heaven, hallelujah, as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire. And it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. Yes. They were all filled with That's the Holy right. Ghost. Amen. They were all oh, filled. Oh, there was not one left out. They were all yes. filled with the Holy Ghost. Why do you think they were all filled with the Holy Ghost because they had been sitting praying and suffering yes. for 10 days yes. straight. Lord, I need you. That's Lord, right. I can't live without Amen. you. God, I know that you yes. would not Thank leave us comfortless. You said God. in your word Amen. that you would not do so. And now, God, do your thing. Now, yes. God, unleash your Holy Ghost. Lord, you said that after the Holy Ghost had come upon us that we would receive power. Yes. Yes. Do you know that word power means dunamis? Yes. It's that dynamic power, like a dynamite. That's right. Do you know that's what Satan is after this morning? Yeah. He's after the power, the power that that's you right. possess. Yeah. He's wanting to extinguish that fire. Mm. He's wanting to extinguish that explosion. Mm. Oh, but he cannot do it. He cannot do it because... It says, and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire, and it sat upon each of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Now let me tell you something. When you experience the Holy Ghost and fire, when you experience the power of the Holy Ghost, yeah. you're not going to look the same. You're not going to act the same. You're not going to sound the same. Because when the Holy Ghost and fire gets on you, you're going to have people that's going to watch you. We got a, enough watchers in the church. Amen? Amen. Amen. We, got, we need partakers. We need some that say, I don't want to look. I want to experience. Oh. Yeah. I don't want to just see. I want to know. Yeah. I, I don't want to just sit on the sidelines. I want to come up and say, God, I just, I, I just, I want anything and everything that you have for me. Amen. They had some onlookers that day at the upper room. And it said they were mocking them. These men are full of new wine. They weren't lying. They weren't lying. They were full of new wine. But it was new wine of the Holy Spirit and fire. It was a new wine. Are you hearing me this morning? Amen. Don't pay attention to the movement around here. God is trying Amen. to do something yes. this morning. Amen. And Satan Hallelujah. is trying to distract, yes, but he, he will not win. Yes, because right. when the power of the Holy Ghost yes. hits this place, yes. you will be endued with power yes. from on 
on high. Amen. That's Amen. what Satan is trying to, to distract you this morning. Amen. But God said, I change not. That's I have right. a new wine yes. to fill you Amen. with this morning. Amen. That it will overflow. Yes. It will overtake you. And yes. you'll be able to walk in places that you yes. thought you never could. Come on. Right. Amen. Others mocked. These men are full of new wine. Ah, but Peter, but Peter, yeah. oh, cousin Peter, <laughs> oh, denying Peter, oh, foul mouth Peter, isn't it the ones that you never would have thought mm -mm, that right. would have spoke up? Watch out for those that you think, no, nope, they can't do it. That's they right. won't do it. They're not capable. Watch out. Yeah. Because those are the people that God uses and raises right. up. Yes. But Peter, standing right. up with the eleven, yes. lifted up his voice yes. and said unto them, Ye men of Judea yes. and all yes. ye that dwell in Jerusalem, yes. be yes. this known unto you yes. and hearken yes. to my words. For these are not drunken as ye suppose, hallelujah, seeing it is but the third hour of the day. But this is that. Which, has, yes. which was spoken by the prophet Joel. And it shall come to pass in the last days. Are we living in the last days? Absolutely. Amen. It shall come to pass in the last days, saith God. I will pour out of my spirit. Yeah. Not anybody else's spirit. I will pour yeah. out of my spirit Amen. upon Amen. all flesh. Yes. I'll pour out my spirit on the doubter. I'll pour out my spirit on the unbeliever. I'll pour out my spirit on the believer. I'll pour out my spirit on the drunkard. Yes. I'll pour out my spirit on, on the, the streetwalker. I'll pour out my spirit on the alcoholic. I'll pour out my spirit on the drug addict. I'll pour out my spirit upon the angered and the, the desolate and the ones that say there is no God. Right. I'll pour out my spirit on all flesh. Yes. And your sons and daughters shall yes. prophesy. Hallelujah. Any prophesiers do I have yes. in the prophets in the house this, yes. this morning? Amen. And your young men shall see visions. Yes. Your young men, where's yes. he at? My, where's Chandler? Your young men shall see visions. Yes. Right. And your old men shall dream dreams. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. And on my servants and on my handmaidens, I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. Yes. Yes. They yes. shall prophesy. Yes, they will. <laughs> they were sitting there waiting. They were sitting there waiting. What are you doing this morning? Are you waiting for the promise of God? Are you waiting? Or did you say, well, it was a good run. I guess I just missed it. Or maybe the prophet missed it. Or maybe the pastor missed it. Or maybe I was just overthinking or overhoping. You continue to overhope and overthink and overdream. Because there is nothing impossible with the Lord Jesus Christ. What are we waiting on? We're waiting on the promise of the Father. We're waiting on the promise of strength. Hallelujah. We're yes, waiting on the promise of joy. Yes, We're waiting on the promise of peace. Yes, and that our seed yes, will be blessed. We're yes, waiting on the whoa. promise that our wells will never run dry. Come We're on. waiting on the promise that greater work shall we do. Yes, We're waiting yes, on the promise that when we lay our hands on the sick, yes, they yes, shall recover. Yes, We're yes, waiting yes, on the promise yes, that yes, they yes, will yes, see the yes, Lord. Yes, yes. Jesus. We're waiting on the promise that when we ask anything according to the will of God in His name, in Jesus. it will happen. Yes. That's right. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. What are you waiting for this morning? Mm. What are you waiting for? Are you waiting for the promises of God? Because, see, I've been around people long enough to know who's in it and who's not. That's right. I, I know just just from from a small conversation who's really Hungry for God. Yeah, that's right. And who's not? Yeah. Thank you. Who says they are and who actually is? That's yeah. right. Thank you, Lord. Straight backs. When you're waiting on the promise of God, there's nothing that'll stop you. Amen. I ain't got time to mess with you, devil. I'm waiting on my promise. Amen. I ain't got time to listen to you, Satan. I'm waiting on the promise Amen. of the Father. I'm, I, I don't have time. Because, see, the promise of the Father said you're defeated. Yeah. The promise of the Father said, you are defeated. And one day, <coughs> when you're sitting 
around the throne room of heaven. Yes. We're going to see you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. We're going to see you cast into the lake of fire mm -hmm. forever. Yeah. That is his promise. That is his destiny. But as for me, yes. I have a promise waiting for me. I have a promise that as long as I believe, yeah. see, you've got to believe there's a contingency on that. Amen. You've got to believe that he that believeth on me, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. They can't be stopped. They can't be dammed up. They can't be dwindled down. They won't dry up. It said, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Yes. Yes, Lord. Amen. <laughs> Greater works shall we do. Greater works. It's not that, that we are any more powerful or any better than Jesus Christ. But he came through on those 40 days showing many infallible proofs. And he said, what I do, the laying on of hands, the raising of the dead, oh, it's coming. It's coming. Watch out, everybody, love. It's coming. Yes, if you come in here and you see a coffin, yes. pay no mind. That's right. You just come in here if you have to slip off your shoes like I do. Because mm -hmm. where we stand is holy ground. Yes. Yes. It's holy ground. I don't want Amen. nothing in between me and this presence Amen. of God. Yes. I don't want nothing to interfere. Yes. That, that's why a lot of times I stay in the back. Because I don't want nothing to interfere with, with my one-on-one -on -one time with God. Right. Lord, Amen. whatever it is this morning. Lord, let me hear it. Let me have a fine-tuned ear to hear yes. your voice. Because yes. I can't say nothing Amen. to change these people's lives. But, Lord, you can. Yes. You can speak one word and it yes. changes the lives of Amen. people forever. Amen. Greater works shall we do if we just believe. We just believe. He said, just believe. Yeah. He didn't say, well, you've got to prove yourself. you got to go through training. you got to go through. you got to show me this. you got to show me that. He said, just believe. Yeah. Just believe Amen. that when you're brought before somebody who is sick and afflicted and said, death is at your door, you can lay hands on the sick. And because you believe, because you believe, that you believe that the Spirit of God. See, that's why we need that Holy Ghost and fire. Jesus didn't go away to heaven to leave us comfortless. No, he said, I, I don't do that. I don't leave you comfortless. But there is one coming after me. There is a Holy Ghost and fire that's coming after me. See, I don't know about you. Sometimes the, the, the Holy Ghost, when you mention the Holy Ghost, it scares people. Yeah. Amen. Come on. Because it's a ghost. Ghost is in its name. Call it Holy Ghost, call it Holy Spirit, it's all the same, but it's something that envelops me. It picks me up when I get knocked down. It says you can make it. You've got to get up. Your journey is too great. Oh it, it is the, the spirit of the living God that wraps his loving arms around me when and comforts me in my time of mourning. Amen. It is that Holy Ghost and fire yes. that says you speak with boldness and authority. Don't you dare let Satan come against you. Don't you dare let Satan go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you. You have more power because That's of right. the Holy Ghost. That's Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. It's that Holy Spirit that makes groanings. And utterances, yes, when we don't even know what to pray. That's right. And I don't know about you, but sometimes there's just the words just cannot escape my mouth. I cannot even pray, but the Holy Spirit within me knows. It makes groanings and intercession for me and to the Heavenly Father when, when I don't even understand, when I don't even know. But it's that Holy Ghost and fire. Amen. Yeah. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost that purges everything out of me. Yeah. It's that Holy Ghost and fire that will purge everything out of you. Yes. Hallelujah. It's that Holy Ghost and fire that will reveal more than you want it to reveal. Amen. That Holy Ghost and fire will leap up in your spirit and say, you shouldn't have said that. You can't act like that. 
You can't act like the world because I separated you from the world. Amen. You're in this world, but you're not of it. Amen. Amen. It is that Holy Spirit and that Holy Ghost fire that will correct you, but it will also raise you up in your midnight hour. When you feel like you can't make it, when you feel like all the attacks of hell are targeting you and pointing at you, the Holy Spirit will come in and he'll say, you can make it. Yeah. Get up. Get up. Because if I walk with you, there is nothing stopping you. If I walk with you, there is no devil in hell that can face you. If I walk with you. Y'all are quiet this morning. Are you fearful of the Holy Spirit? Because I, I, I need that Holy Spirit. Yes. I need it working in my life each Amen. and every day. Yes. I have to Amen. yield to that Holy Spirit. I have to lean into it and say, okay, Holy Spirit, what should I do today? How should I react? What scripture do I need to focus on today? How can I direct my words this morning? Yes. Lord, I need you Amen. every day, every hour. Amen. I need you. Greater works. Greater works shall you do. Greater works. Greater works. I believe there is a people this morning hungry for more of God. There is a people here this morning that is hungry for new wine. Suddenly, yes. Everyone, stand to your feet. <clears throat> 